another warm welcome for me. It's Monday 11 Feb 19. This one's called View 3D Cities Learn Google Earth Studio with Mike Downs, Chapter 5, Video 2. We are going to look at how we can find and interrogate 3D cities in Google Earth Studio and it's worth knowing how we get 3D imagery in the first place which is called photogrammetry a plane flies over a set area literally like ploughing a field we get some uh, mesh which looks a bit grey in this older picture and then they throw some chicken wire over it figurative computer chicken wire and eventually lay over the images and what that actually means is that there is a lovely video by Nat and Friends which looks at Google 3D imagery here is the plane, the literal plane that is taking off it starts flying up and down and then starts taking rectangular sort of areas in a way uh, where there is a camera facing down, left, right, forward and back. Then after that um, we have, or in the process of that, we have one of the engineers here, uh, Google, sitting with a massive server-like computer inside the plane and then you can see there is a hole presumably looking down somehow with all of the cameras over the imagery. Now the thing is that when we get to this level we get eventually the 3D and I'm going to demo here where with Google Earth Studio we get a push pin develops into more push pins and we can see it. So the main thing here is that some background over the last, oh goodness, I don't know, three to five years I've got a Google Plus collection which you know you can view this if you like about general 3D imagery but of course it's going to disappear in a couple of months when Google Plus shuts down and you can find also as I say I'm whizzing along here there are some best practices on the Google Earth Studio documentation using 3D imagery um, years ago because uh, it stopped now this is Google Earth Pro. The Google Earth blog produced a big KML with all of the 3D images around. The point I'm giving you a bit of a history is that when you go looking for set areas and you realize maybe there isn't any 3D, then you can see the mammoth, mammoth task that we get for free to uh, look and use all of this 3D. So my point going down to it with the demo is that if we look at North America here and we go to view 3D imagery or 3D cities rather and the example I'm going to take which was in Bismarck in North Dakota and that was we need to find it first and it's up here as you can see that there is a let me just zoom out there is a let's bring this down a little bit so you can see it yeah that'll do dead center is a single push pin and then as you come through you can see that that push pin opens up to many push pins to kind of signpost the 3D area. When I say kind of signpost if you see my mouse drawing that line in that triangle that may be accurate it may not be exactly on you know the the polygon or the shape that it's doing. So let me just just demonstrate truthfully that this is 3D which it actually looks like when it loads and there is an area of um, North Dakota. My point here is that sometimes 3D gets um, stuck, shall we say, and if I looked at uh, Gibraltar, uh, if I can actually spell, yeah there we go, and that is that you have a 3D city but actually you've got um, imagery and data sets which makes in this example the rock of Gibraltar on the bottom of Spain uh, look like this but when you actually get close to it what you find is that it's um, a geographical um, formation but without proper 3D so just be careful of that you can see that the buildings here that are on the top of the rock of Gibraltar are literally look like they're sliding off down uh, the edge my point here is that if we come off and it looks from a distance like it's a uh, beautiful rock which it is quite clearly that on the side there these buildings presumably are not actually built with roads and buildings sliding off the rock and so we can actually see a crisp interchange between literally um, this area here I'm just going to go in and show you here we go look here's some coast areas that have been processed and you can see it's slightly different and you think is that 3D or 2D if I zoom in but it is clearly 2D because when you get to the break point and actually get down to a level here we go look you've got the 3D buildings which are very clear now when you get quite close and then all of a sudden the imagery drops so you've got lovely 3D buildings here and then 2D so that is a slight difference in it I don't think there's much else to say here because I want to get out of this video and get on to others 
because I've got tons to get through. Just to give you a little bit of an insight, you can see that we've got push pins, and as you zoom out of those push pins, you have got some successful 3D imagery. So that was it. Let's finish it there, which was View 3D Cities. This was Chapter 5, Video 2. See you in the next one.